Welcome back. Developing now at 5, a Metro East community grieving tonight. An early morning house fire killed three people. And we're now gathering new details about this tonight. First Alert Force is Shauna Stahl live in Belleville outside that home after hearing from neighbors who've been really devastated by this news, Shoshana. Yeah, Sam, that's right. And I even talked to family out here earlier when they came back by the house to look at just how damaged it was from that fire. They said they weren't ready to talk on camera just yet. But one woman I talked to said it was her dad, her brother, and her son-in-law that all died in the fire earlier this morning. And right now, they're just still trying to process all of the loss. Just to lose someone like that. It's very tragic. Sadness fills the neighborhood at 13th and Lincoln in Belleville. An early morning house fire on Monday, killing three men in the same family. They were a very good family. You know, they'd give their shirt off their back to anyone in need. A family member telling First Alert 4 off camera that her mother, pregnant daughter, and infant baby all survived. She says her daughter jumped out of a window with the baby in hand to get to safety. They were already released from the hospital. Those who didn't survive? George Pappas, Pio Quinto Pappas, and Christopher Ellis. Neighbor Ashley Hanneman says she woke up to flashing lights from the fire trucks and walked over to see the house in flames. It's definitely very scary um, that fire can do that to something. While other neighbors like Brian Smith right next door had a completely different wake up call when his wife heard someone banging on their door realized that somebody was trying to tell us to get out of the house because our neighbor's house was on fire. So she got the kids and the dogs out of the house. Smith says the flames were 20 to 30 feet high when he stepped outside. I proceeded to come outside and try to hose off my side of the house because my siding was melting off of my house and my grass close to my house was on fire already. Very scary. Um, it's just that life can be taken from you that quick. One family member tells me that a family dog did die in the fire, but there is another dog that's out missing right now. If you see a small brown dog named Teddy, she says her mom would love to be reunited with that dog during this tough time. Live in Belleville, Shoshana Stahl, First Alert 4. All right, Shoshana.